All right guys, on this episode of McGee's Garage, we have to blow the white truck's front end apart because we were sent a faulty redhead steering box, which is pretty common nowadays. But they went ahead and sent us a replacement, so that's okay. And on this truck, you can see we have a steering box bolt that's covered by the shock hoop. And we were doing the four link on this truck, we were like, well, how many times would you need to change a steering box on this thing? Once? I think this is the uh, third time this has come apart, so that's wonderful. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the new box on. Wouldn't be too bad. We're not really sure how to lift this thing on the lift, so we're just gonna have to do it with uh, jack stands on the frame right there. It's also how we did the transmission in this truck. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get started on that. All right, guys, so we got the truck jacked up, pulled the wheels off. What's next that we need to do is we need to get this coilover off so we can get the shock hoop off. If you see this, the shock hoop goes directly over this bolt right here, and we've marked it. This warranty steering box might also be trash. We're just going to stop with the shock hoop. We didn't design the shock hoop. We didn't make it. Uh, we're just going to modify it ourselves so that we don't have to pull the coil over and everything to do the steering box on it. My dad's got some material. We're gonna pull saw a hole into the shock hoop and we're gonna put a bung in it so that we can run the steering box bolt through the shock hoop. This whole jack the truck up, and pull the wheels off, pull the coilovers off, the reservoir, all that. All that goes away if we modify the shock hoop. So now I gotta get this reservoir pulled and that's the coilover. And I'm gonna use that jack to hold the axle up because I don't want this thing just dropping. So the way these shock clamps work is they go around your uh, remote reservoir and then you build a tube off of your shock hoop and uh, clamp it to there. And they use an Allen key to hold it. It's just, just one Allen key holding all that stuff down, so. And my dad's gonna put a hole right here with a hole saw and we're gonna weld in a bung and a washer. My dad's trying to cut some material from our hoard and we just got to know if a socket's going to fit through there. And then we have this piece of tubing. Oh yeah, it's going to work. Got to get the shock out. Got the shocks off, come around here, pulled the shock hoop off. We're gonna pull these out. This bolt right here holds these shock brackets in and uh, you can get shock brackets made to kind of bring it up a couple inches. Get a little bit more height. Gonna go ahead and pull this shock hoop off too because uh, might as well get them both powder coated while the truck is off or uh, down. So this truck's kind of had this issue where you drive it and it's kind of like all over the road. It feels like you're driving on a beach ball or whatever and not in a good way. These little flat pieces right here is what gets you your camber measurement or caster measurement. And as you can see, it's 3.50 degrees. That's less than they leave the factory with. So what we need to do is we need to come back here and lengthen this some more. And we've already kind of messed with this a little bit, but we weren't aware exactly what the degree was. It's just gonna need more. We're gonna probably aim for at least seven or eight because at this height and with this tire size, it's just gonna need a little bit more. I kind of wanna, I'm gonna bring this over to the other side. I see that right there? Yep, oh, 3.4, okay. So yeah, it's like three and a half degrees of camber or caster, my bad. And that's just simply not enough. The more caster you have, the more, like, the less your wheels are digging into the ground like that when you're steering. And if you bring it up like that and you get it right, it'll be smooth sailing and you'll have good steering return and good handling. Guess we're just gonna 
pop the shock hoop off real quick. We're gonna go ahead and get the shock hoops powder coated while they're off. Cause you know, might as well. Uh, probably gonna pull these off, raise the truck a couple inches. This steering is gonna get flipped to the top of this high steer knuckle. That's pretty much it for the white truck today, I think. So this is your new route yeah, back man. here in the rock store. New playground. Mm. Mm. You're good. Hey, you're not in four. Okay. Yeah, there's this one piece of wood right here. You, you're okay. That way. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I made it. Looks good. up and hit it with some speed yeah now hit it there you go That's actually doing pretty good. It's kind of just floating on the surface out there. Backside. Oh yeah, some wood on there. Got to rinse it off while it's wet, because if you let it dry, it's uh, not so easy. All right, guys, that's gonna end it for this episode of McGee's Garage. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.